Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan, our cameraman is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Alpha Wolf 26 RBL. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here in the front. This does come with your power tongue jack. You do have the adjustable foot pad at the bottom as well as a, a light here on the tongue jack that shines down on your hitch. Uh, behind the tongue jack is a dual 20 pound LP tank with hard case cover with your easy access lid to get into the valves and those will be filled by the Outpost RV for you as well as the battery in box here on the back will be included as well. This does have what we call the juice pack so you do have the solar panel up on the roof to maintain the battery as well as a shut off, uh, battery shut off switch on the inside of the compartment that we'll get to later. You have the gel coated front cap here on the front. You do have integrated LED lights with a on and off switch right here. And then you have your diamond plate rock guard at the bottom. Swing around to the passenger side. Um, the, the solar panel and the battery will last, I believe they say 48 hours with the refrigerator running and everything. Um, if you piggyback a 100 watt solar panel, for those of you that boondock or dry camp, you can pretty much run indefinitely. Um, there's two ways of doing that, is by attaching another 100 uh, watt on the roof, or if you have a portable solar panel that you can plug into this port here, um, you can do that, e either one of those two options. Front storage compartment is a pass-through storage. You'll see that it has magnets here on the side to hold your compartment door open for you. But it is a pass-through storage. It does have an inch of your light in there for you. And down below is your power stabilizer jacks. Uh, these are included. I do have that in the down position so you can see what that looks like. And how that works is if one leg gets down before the other, it applies a small amount of pressure until the opposing side does the same and then it goes together at that point and then your extend retract switch would be out here uh, so you can easily get to. Uh, your leash latch right here so if you do have pets you can leash them up. Six gallon gas electric water heater uh, you can turn uh, you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. Um, right inside here is an on and off switch in the lower left hand corner. That's the electric side of the water heater. And then I'll show you the gas uh, switch on the inside when we get there on the monitor panel. And always remember to have water in the water heater uh, before you put, before you turn on the electric side of the water heater so you do not burn up the heating element. Your uh, awning, this is a power awning, you do have an adjustment right here on each end so you can adjust the pitch of the awning so if it is raining you can have the water run off one end or the other. And that does have your blue LED light for you underneath the awning as well as your outside entertainment center also has blue LED lights in the speakers. Your TV bracket is compatible to the one on the inside so if you'd like to take the TV from the inside slide it in out here you can do that and then you have your connections down below. Aluminum rims along with radial tires. Um, I did remove the center cap here so you can see it is an easy lube axle along with self adjusting brakes and then you'll also see it has a tire pressure monitor caps on here so it shows the number 65 on there so you know how much tire pressure to put in there and also if I loosen this up you'll see it'll turn to red so you actually have a visual when the tire pressure gets low that will turn to red so you know you need to add air. Stable step at the entry door. Uh, this is a solid step. Uh, we get a lot of good feedback with this. You don't have a step that's suspended in the air rocking the camper as you go in and out. You do have an adjustment on each end right here so you can adjust the legs to the contour of the ground so everything sits level. Uh, we also have a larger step here on top more like a landing pad uh, for easier getting in and out. But these are very easy to set up and take down. You basically open your entry door, you lift it up, swing it into place, and there's a latch right here on the left hand side that latches into the door frame. And then you would close your door and flip your uh, grab assist handle over the door 
and you're ready to go. So very easy to set up and take down. Outside kitchen here in the back, you have a very large uh, double door refrigerator here in the back. As well as a kitchen sink and an overhead cabinet. And then you'll also have a storage tray down below. Underneath here is an LP quick connect. So if you do have an outdoor grill, you'd like to tap into the two LP tanks on the front. You can do that through that port. And while we're down here, I will show you that the underbelly is enclosed and heated. So this is classified as a Four Seasons camper. In the back here, we have your 4x4 tube bumper. Uh, if you remove the end cap, this is where you would store your sewer hose in. We also have the spare tire mounted for you on the bumper. You also see underneath the clearance lights at the top, there's a black bracket. That is for a backup camera. So if you would like to add a backup camera, it is prepped and ready, but that would be an additional cost. Hookup center on the driver's side here. We do have um, handles that protrude out from the underbelly. So your valves and everything would be enclosed in the heated underbelly. And you, that would all dump out of this port. We have your city water and fresh water connection here. Your fresh water is if you dry camp, uh, you can fill your fresh water holding tank through this port. Turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply. And if you're at a campground, you would just connect your water hose to the city water and you're ready to go. After your black tank is dumped, you can connect a water hose to this. There is a sprayer on the back side of the black tank, so you can rinse that out if you'd like. 30 amp connection, it does come with a detachable cord. So it's not a cord that you're pulling out and pushing back in, getting tangled up and taken away from storage on the inside. So that is convenient. You also have your satellite and cable hookups out here, as well as the outside shower that does have your hot and cold water. Okay, we will now move up in front of the slide room area. There's not a whole lot up here. This is basically the pass-through storage uh, here in the front. There you can see the detachable 30 amp cord. And then there is your battery disconnect switch. And these are uh, laminated fiberglass exterior, aluminum construction. Uh, one thing that I do like that Alpha does that not everyone does is they frame around every compartment, every window. So it is a very solid, nice constructed unit. Um, not everyone does that. So that uh, concludes the outside of the 26 RV Alpha Wolf and now we'll move to the inside. The bathroom is to the left in the back. We have your sofa and dinette in the slide out and the sofa does face your entertainment center which is directly inside your entry door right here and then we will go ahead and get started inside the entry door to the right you'll have a walk-in pantry a lot of nice pantry storage large pantry uh, as you come inside to your left is your monitor and control panel uh, you do have a touch screen thermostat this is what it would operate your uh, air conditioner and your furnace up at the top is your uh, voltage reader for your battery and then you have your monitor panel this is where you would uh, have your interior exterior light switches your slide room awning switch uh, you would check your levels of your battery your black and gray and freshwater tanks and this does also have the one touch control so if you're a techie person you can download an app and you can operate the slide room and awning and lights through your phone on your app. But if not, you can use the switches on the control panel. We'll now move into the bathroom area. It is in the back. We do have a toilet that is a ceramic toilet. Does allow a lot of nice leg room. We have a place to hang up clothes here on the back. This would be the back side of your outside kitchen. You have some cabinet doors here with huge deep storage in that cavity and then we have your shower pan uh, 
this would this is a nice large shower uh, has a skylight at the top and it has a nice shower curtain where you just pull across and latch in a vanity right across from the toilet along with a medicine cabinet and a create a breeze fan out here we will start on this side with your entertainment center we have a fireplace at the base we have your stereo uh, the light switch that you see on this side that is designed so we can keep this a 30 amp unit and we don't have to upgrade to the 50 amp so if you want to use the microwave you will need to flip that switch you will not be able to use your fireplace and microwave at the same time entertainment center does come with your bracket that goes on the back of the TV overhead cabinets you'll notice the overhead cabinets have glass inserted cabinet doors a large refrigerator this is the new 10 cubic foot refrigerator so it is larger than the 8 cubic foot that we've had in the past very deep very nice refrigerator feels like a residential you'll also notice this black bracket here this does clip into this location right here uh, that way if you put the unit in the storage and you do not want to get mold in your refrigerator that is what that is designed for microwave in the overhead cabinet you also see lots of lights ceiling tray uh, lights underneath the range hood and overhead cabinets so very well lit uh, you do have the seamless countertops so you do not have any seams right here for water to get into sink cover giving you more countertop space when not using the sink and that is the large stainless steel farmhouse style sink along with your high-rise pull-out kitchen faucet glass drop-in stovetop this again giving you more countertop space when not using the stove uh, this is a bifold cover and also serves as a backsplash that is a three burner you do have the oven with this a light switch here on the right hand side so you do have a blue LED light around each burner and then you have a small amount of storage in the cabinet door as well as a bank of two drawers moving up into the bed area this is your queen bed with a wardrobe overhead cabinets on uh, wardrobe on each side with overhead cabinets you also have a USB port along with a receptacle on each side you do have storage underneath the bed and a nice large amount of space around the bed so you can move around coat rack in here if you'd like to add a TV in the bedroom you can at the foot of the bed you have a TV backer there with connections in the ceiling you do see it is ducted uh, throughout And then lastly would be your slide room area. I'm just gonna swing down here so you can get a better visual of the whole slide area. You do have your dinette as well as your sofa. This is what they call a jackknife sofa. So if you look at the pictures on our website, that does have storage underneath there and you can lay that flat for more uh, sleeping room if you'd like. The dinette, also the table is on pedestals. You can lower that down, slide the cushions in for more sleeping room. You do have pull out uh, 40 inch pull out drawers underneath each dinette seat and these do have the new what they call the zebra shades these are very sharp looking uh, basically they're roller shades that as you roll them up you can let daylight in or you can block out the daylight so I believe that concludes the inside of the 26 RB L by Alpha Wolf do one more brief walkthrough for you We are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845.
Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.